Hello, welcome to Lisha's Spicy Kitchen, where I share easy and delicious Chinese home cooking recipes. Today, I'm going to cook one of the most popular dishes from my hometown, Sichuan. It is called Gong Bao Chicken. Juicy and tender chicken pieces cooked in a sauce of subtle sweet, sour, and spicy flavors. Mmm, let's get started now. First, we need to prepare the chicken meat. Today, I'm using about 350 gram of chicken leg meat. That's two legs, and it should serve two people. You can also use chicken breast. Personally, I prefer the leg meat because I think it tastes more juicy. I've already got rid of the skin. There are mainly two parts of bones in each leg, and we'll take them out separately. You can use your hand to feel where the joint is and cut through the gap using a sharp knife. Once you find the right place, it will come apart easily. Then use the pointy part of the knife to dig out the bone. Now the bone's out. Before we start dicing the meat, there's a trick we could do. Use the knife to lightly chop on the meat, but don't cut through it. This is to break the tendons and loosen up the meat, so it will be easier for the meat to absorb the sauce later. Now we can dice the meat. They will shrink a bit in cooking, so cut them into slightly bigger chunks, about 2 cm long. Now the meat is diced, we need to marinate it for a few minutes. Adding half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of dark soy sauce. This is to give the meat a bit of reddish color. One tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. Give the chicken meat a good massage, so it will absorb the seasoning nicely. In China, when we cook meat, we often treat the meat, so it doesn't have what we call a raw meaty flavor. And we do so by adding the cooking wine into it. Now you can easily get the cooking wine from big supermarkets or Asian grocery stores. Now we can add half tablespoon of corn or potato flour. This is what we usually do to tenderize the meat. And last, put in one tablespoon of cooking oil to seal seasoning in the meat. This also helps when we cook the meat, it will not stick to the wok. Give everything a good mix so the meat will absorb the seasoning as much as possible. Now we can leave this to sit aside for five minutes. And in the meantime, we can prepare our gong bao sauce. This is where the signature gong bao flavor comes from. Use a small bowl and add one tablespoon of cooking wine, one tablespoon of light soy sauce. This is to give a savory flavor to it, while dark soy sauce is mainly to color the food. Then we add two tablespoons of Chinese black vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, half tablespoon of corn flour, the corn flour here is to thicken the sauce when we cook the chicken later. Mix everything and now the sauce is done. This is what we call a gong bao flavor or xiao li zhi wei. It's a mild version of lychee flavor that is savory, sweet and sour. Now we've finished our sauce, we just need to prepare a few more ingredients. We need about three spring onions, roughly chopped into small pieces. Separate the white and the green parts. Four cloves of garlic, chopped into small cubes. A piece of ginger, about two centimeters long, also chopped into small cubes. We'll put them together with the white part of the spring onions, as we will cook them together later. A handful of Sichuan peppercorns. These are the special peppercorns that give out a great numbing sensation. We'll need some dried chilies, roughly cut them into chunks, and shake out the seeds. I only used two here because these ones are very spicy. In Sichuan, we'd normally put in more chilies, but they are not as hot as these ones. The chilies and peppercorns add extra layers of flavors to this dish, spicy and numbing. Last, we also need some roasted or fried peanuts. About a handful. The best are the ones freshly fried, but for ease of cooking, I'm using some ready-made ones today. Now all our preparations are ready. Let's fire it up. Let's heat up the wok. Using low heat, add about three tablespoons of cooking oil. 
You can use any type of cooking oil, sunflower or vegetable, it doesn't matter that much. In Sichuan, we prefer to use rapeseed oil because it gives out a really good fragrance. And that's what I'm using today. First, add in the dried chilies and Sichuan peppercorn to infuse the oil. These can easily burn, so never cook them in high heat. Stir for about 10 seconds until you can smell the flavors coming out. Quickly tip in the ginger, garlic, and the white part of the spring onions. Stir and cook them on medium heat until you can smell all the flavors coming out. Now we can turn the heat up to maximum and add in the marinated chicken pieces. Give the meat a quick shake before putting them in and constantly stir them so they get cooked evenly on all sides. When the meat is cooked through, this is when you can see them turned white, not pink anymore. Adding our prepared gong bao sauce. Give it a quick whisk before pouring it in and now stir it so the sauce combines well with the chicken. Keep cooking for 5 to 7 minutes. Depends on your stove's power, the meat should be ready. We can see the sauce has blended in and already thickened. Last, toss in the peanuts just to fry for a few seconds. Now we can turn off the heat and throw in the green parts of spring onions to garnish. Now this is ready to be served. It smells delicious. You can see everything has blended in perfectly into the meat and it goes so well with rice. I hope you will enjoy this dish as much as I do. Please let me know how you get on if you decided to try out this recipe at home. And don't forget to check out the description area for the written recipe. And if you like my video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. That would be very helpful to me. Thank you for watching and see you next time in Leisha's Spicy Kitchen. Bye!